Hi guys, I hope you good. I hope you blessed. Uh, your sister Pushya Mohau again. Uh, today we we loved a lot. Hey, eh? we share a lot in this house, in this family. Hey, we come across a lot. But today I want to share something with you. Hey, we are black people. Where's this Jesus coming from? Who's this Jesus? Simazela, how do we get involved with a Jew? <laughs> a lot of things that you would hear when we talk about Jesus. But this morning, I want us to go to the book of Matthew, chapter 16, from verse 13. And I see who God says Jesus is. The Bible says, now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the son of man is? And they said, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and others, others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. In verse 15, the Bible says, he said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And Jesus says, And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosened in heaven. Then the strictly charged, then he strictly charged the disciples to tell no one that he was Christ. Baba, we thank you for your word. May you increase that I decrease, O Lord, in the Jesus. Before we go deeper into the scripture, I want to read you something that I that really convicted my heart more for for Jesus. I was reading a um, biography of a man, a missionary man called David Brainard, one of the men that I love so much, and he said, "I care not where I go." or how I live, or what I endure so that I may save souls. When I sleep, I dream of them. When I wake up, when I awake, they are first in my thoughts. O oh, David Brainerd. O oh, David Brainerd is one of the men that I love. Um, who is this Jesus? Some say he's a prophet, even to this day and age. People say he's a prophet. If you, you know, Islamic Muslims say he is one of the prophets. And others say he, he is maybe John the Baptist, eh, Elijah. But who is he? You know? Now, when Jesus in came in... Uh, who do people say that I, uh, the son of man, is? Some say you are John the Baptist. Some say you are a white Jew. Some say uh, Jesus is a story that enslaved, that was made in the European countries to come and enslave Africans so that we can focus on Jesus, uh, the Bible, in a sense, so that they can steal our land and steal our gold. Who are people saying this is Jesus? Jesus is just a story that was, you know, that they were born, they made up. A, there's a lot people are saying about Jesus. But the Bible says in the book of Colossians, I think chapter 1 verse 14, that he is the express image of the invisible God. And the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 3 verse 17, and the voice from heaven came and said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. 
Now the Bible says, Jesus said, Peter said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus said to him, blessed are you, Simon Bar John, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father who is in heaven. Paul says in the book of Galatians, when it pleased God, you know, who chose me while I was still in my mother's womb, when it pleased him, he revealed his son to me. You know, Jesus cannot be known by flesh and blood. You cannot know and understand the Bible was, uh, says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. You and the word is God. You cannot understand John when he speaks of this word of God. You cannot understand when an angel says to Mary, Mary, you shall have a son and you shall call him Emmanuel. You know, you will not understand the the importance of why it had, it had to take a virgin to conceive a son to save us because flesh and blood rules you. God has to reveal Jesus to you in order for you to know who Jesus is. God can come. You know, Jesus said, who do people say I am? You understand? Because a lot of people have a lot of, of, of thoughts of who this Jesus is. When Jesus reveals, when God reveals his son to you, you will be able to understand that in, in the beginning God created. You know, when God said, let us, his son was with him. You know, you will understand when Moses came and he saw the, 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 the burning bush, you know, the burning tree. But it, it was not, the, he saw fire, but it was not burning. And a voice came. Take off your, your, your sandals, you know. The place that you are standing on is sacred. He, you will not understand Whose word was that? You will not understand why Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego, you know, Nebuchadnezzar put these men inside the fire. There were three, but he could see the fourth man. You will not understand who was the fourth man. Jesus did not just appear. According to the knowledge of men in the New Testament, Jesus has been from the beginning. He is the express image of the invisible God. Paul says to the letter, uh, uh, to, 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 in the book of Colossians chapter 1, you know, he is, he, the Bible is clear of who this Jesus is. The Bible says, how will they believe if no one preaches to them? Then it says, faith comes by hearing and hearing the message which is Christ Jesus. Jesus is the beginning and is the end. Jesus is from Genesis to Revelation and he is for eternity. Jesus cannot be comprehended and understood by flesh and blood. Flesh and blood cannot reveal that to you because it is still held in, in the birth, you know, in the life of Adam. Jesus is the second Adam them comes to give birth to us spiritually because we were dead. You know, we were born. We are products of Adam and Eve. And out of their sin, we inherited sin and became sin. So Jesus comes, the incarnation of God. It is and you know, the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. The book says in the Bible says in the book of John, and the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. God could God is holy. God is glorious. God is powerful and God hates sin, so God could not enter sin. God had to become man in order for him to come and defeat sin for us in order to bring us back to himself. So, Uncle Uncle, 
Jesus is 100% God and 100% man. You know, he, he was 100% man. He is 100% God. You understand? So when he came to his own creation, he came to, to stand against what we on our own cannot stand against. So Jesus is the Son of God. He has given us... Peter. Oh, of course. Jesus says... Blessed are you, Simon Bar Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. When you come to the knowledge of Christ, you are a blessed person. You are blessed to have a knowledge that flesh cannot reveal. Flesh to to to, to a, a fleshly understanding, it's foolishness. To fleshly understanding, it doesn't make sense because I'm black. The other one is white. The other one is Indian. Yet all of us have eyes and blood. This Jesus is the Son of God who came for me and you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. And whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. The love of God for his people, the love of God for his creation, God makes an escape for his own. God knew the mind of man. God knew the mind of man. What the enemy, what when the devil came, and he came on earth, he was thrown out, coming to cause destruction on earth and make people fall. God had already a divine plan to save his creation because it belongs to God. This Jesus, if he's revealed to you, you are blessed. You can read all these books. You can be academically enlightened. But you see, it takes himself and his spirit to make you understand who he is. He is not just a story. He is the living God that lives in us. And in him we move. We have our being. We are because he is. And everything that we see with our naked eyes could not be without him. Because everything was created by him and in him and for him. So there will be nothing without Jesus. Those who are outside him are waiting for condemnation and the wrath of God. The Bible says, I will give you the keys. I, I, and I tell you, you are Peter and on this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Peter, on this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Peter, through you, in you, I will build my church. There will be a time where you will minister about me. There will be a time people will be healed through you. There will be a time where men will be brought back to me through you. Peter, and the gates of hell will not prevail. Whatever the enemy brings at you, it shall not strike you. The enemy cannot come against my word because my word stand. Peter, my news will be known through you. My church will stand and there's absolutely nothing the enemy can do and will do against my church. I guess against my own, there is nothing the enemy can do. Where the hand of God is standing, 
there is nothing, no hand will come. They can distort my doctrine, but they will never take away the power of my own word. Paul says, I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God. The power of this, this Jesus will continue to do what it is meant to do, whatever the enemy does does or says you may distort it you 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 may preach a doctrine of hell it will not prevail against my church for the word of god stands heaven and earth shall pass away but my word shall remain standing my word will never come back to me void god will speak his word and he's speaking his word and his word is is working it is working. You may come with all these uh, doctrines to entice people. But the truth shall set them free. No gates of hell shall prevail against the church of the Lord. The Bible also says Jesus is the head of the church. And no hell can come against Jesus, who is your land. He came, walked earth for 33 years, and it was without sin. He became sin for us, the Son of God. When God looks at us, he doesn't see the sin that we were born with from Adam anymore, because we are born. Of Christ now he sees the finished work of Jesus on the cross that's why we say he is Lord and our Savior the Bible says I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosened in heaven I will give you the key, the keys. Ah, in course. <laughs> he has given us rights to be called the children of God. The Bible says he sits by the right side of the Father interceding for us. We have an attorney in heaven. We have a brother in the Lord. He says, if you ask in my name, it shall be given. He says, if you bind on earth, is bound in heaven. If you lose on earth, is loosened in heaven. If you give authority unto it, it is authorized in heaven. Because your Lord has spoken for you. We do not say Jesus because it's a name that we just grab. It's a name that is revealed unto us. A name that is above all names. Whatever you bind on earth. You don't just bind it for yourself. You bind it, it's already bound in heaven. Jesus is Lord. He loved us that much. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against this church. Against that church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against you, child of God. God loved you and revealed himself to you. For he loved us. And gave himself up for us. It is not color. You cannot understand him. Because of books that you. The Bible says. They that know their God shall be strong in the book of Daniel. 
They that know their God shall be strong. It does not say the Hebrews who know their God will be strong. It says they that know their God shall be strong. Even a strong wizard who know their God will render your life useless if you don't know your God. Jesus said to be known who he is. And Jesus was known to his disciples as the Christ because God in heaven revealed him. They that know their God shall be strong. You must know who, he, who Christ is. The Bible says we must grow in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus. In order for, when the devil comes, say, hey, I know who he is. I know who my God is. You must have answers when they question you about this Jesus. You don't bind by your own power. You don't bind by the idol power. But you bind by the name of Jesus, who was revealed to you by the Holy God. Others say he is a prophet. No, he is more than a prophet. Others say he is just a Jew. Eh, no, through Jews, God wanted to talk to us. God could choose even from the Tswana tribe. He, could, he, is, he is God. He wants to do it his way and he does it his way. We can't question God. Who can cancel God? Who is he? You need to know who this Jesus is. Jesus used a lot of men for, for his glory. Jesus, he, David Brennan says, The Lord helped me to press after God forever. David Brainerd is crying. He says, God, help me to press after you forever. Help me to know you, God. Lord Jesus, I want to know you. I don't want to hear the books, other books telling me about you. Reveal yourself to me through your word. the word the bible written by what by people no it is it is god's inspired word it's a it, it's a book breathed by god the holy spirit inspired men chosen by god to god to jot the word of god down It is good to equip you. It is good to correct you, to give you understanding in order for you to walk and be directed. He is the express image of the invisible God. He is not a limited God. He is a master that can never fail his own. He is a master that lays his life for his own. He is a shepherd that gives up his own life for his sheep. And his sheep knows his voice. You cannot know him if the father doesn't reveal him to you. You need to bring your earnest heart before God and say, Father Lord Jesus, I want to know you more. I thirst to know you more. Holy Spirit, I want to know you. Come to my life. Let me know you. Reveal yourself to me. Babu says, he first loved us. Babu says, he chose us. 
We do not choose him. Because Jesus is not a story. He's a living God. A son of God. Who never changes. He was Jesus 4,000 years ago. He is still Jesus today. It will be Jesus tomorrow and will forever be Jesus. He is not like any other. Yeah, to so molo kiwa ka o kete tsubu tulo kya murata ho banta ata Nehilebo pillow Ma Melanga Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you this morning, mighty God. We worship you, Heavenly Father. We praise you, Jehovah God. We thank you, Nkulu We say there is none like you, Nkulu Nkulu Praises you deserve, mighty God. Glory unto you, Father, this morning and forevermore. We thank you, Nkulungulwe Tonwele, for who you are in our lives. We thank you, Father God, for Christ to Jesus. We thank you, Ngozi, that while we were sinners, Christ died for us. We thank you, Nkulungulwe Tonwele, that you love the world so much that you gave your only begotten son. Baba, we are in awe of your love, God. Thank you, Nkulunkulwe Tonwele, that you revealed him to us. Thank you, Father, because of, of your, your word that was, was saved, the word that you preserved that we can hear about, uh, about you. We thank you, Nkulunkulwe Tonwele. We thank you for your word. We thank you for, for the Holy Spirit that is continuously working in us, that is teaching us everything that you taught, that is bringing everything to remembrance, the spirit that directs us in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Father God, we thank you for our families. We thank you for our friends. We thank you even for our enemies. We thank you, God, for our leaders. We thank you, for each and every one that you bring along our ways. 
believe that she is to take your glory forever and ever this morning, mighty God. I bring myself humbly before you. Kulunkulwe tonwele praying for the hearts of your people. Kulunkulwe tonwele may your spirit continue to mold us. May your spirit work in our hearts. May your spirit convict those that you have elected. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, with nothing we come before you, Lord, but by the name of our Lord Jesus, the name that was before everything, the name that is above all names. May you reveal yourself to those that you want to reveal yourself to to in the name of Jesus. This morning I decree and declare the freedom of your children through the power of your word. In the name of Jesus, may you liberate your children, oh God. In the name of Jesus, this morning I pray for the breaking of bondages. This this morning, mighty God, I pray for your children who thirst and long to know you, God. May you give them wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. May you direct them to your truth, O oh God. Because the Bible says they shall know the truth and the truth shall free them, O oh God. This morning I pray for the spirit of discernment to your people. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, this morning I break chains and cause get Gamaliga Jesu Christ to Come against the spirit of fear, O oh God, in your children in the name of Jesus. My Mighty God, I decree and declare boldness in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning, Father God, we give our curses unto you. Those who are living under curses, mighty God, we roll those curses unto you. This morning, Father God, I bring the cries of your people to you. From all ankles of this life, from all ankles of this world, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, may your angels that you have ascended for them, may they take control in Zabo. We pray for our nation, so oh God, may you raise your standard, O oh God, against the works of the enemy. May you raise leaders, O oh God, that will stand in truth and your truth, O oh God. May you raise leaders, O oh God, God, of prayer, Mabange Kamaliga Jesu, those who will stand in the gap in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, because you are God that answers. In Jesus' name, I thank you and I bless you. Amen and amen. <laughs>